Here's how to use motion blur in CapCut. Now, if you're in CapCut and you wanted to add a motion blur to a bunch of images or videos, I'll show you how to do it. Let's open up CapCut here and tap on new project. Let's just choose a couple of, let's say stock videos. Let's tap on stock videos and we'll scroll over to just choose some scenery and let's choose a couple of short ones. So say this one and this one, I'm gonna add both of these. Oh, it didn't add the other one. Tap another one here. I'm gonna add another stock video, this one and hit add. So you can see I have these two different videos. If I wanted to between them, I can tap on the video and swipe all the way over, all the way over, keep going over, where is it? And tap motion blur. It's a little person kind of running. So you can see I can bump up motion blur and bump up blend. If you're not necessarily sure what that motion blur does, you can tap the little question mark right next to it. And it's really helpful. It brings up a little page that explains exactly what the motion blur is, what the blend does, all of that stuff. But let's just go back and we're gonna bump these all the way up and direction, I'm gonna use both and once. And then it's gonna apply this motion blur to this video. Now I'm gonna go over to the second one and do the same thing. Swipe all the way over until I get to motion blur, bump these all the way up and hit the check mark. Now that I've done that, I've added motion blur on both of these. I'll show you kind of what it looks like. So I'm gonna hit the play button here and you'll see in this transition, it won't just be a hard cut between these two specific videos. It will have kind of a blur in the transition between these videos. So you can see this is a way that you can kind of smooth out transitions or just have that transition be a bit more blurry in between that transition. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.